This is capsule endoscopy in a 37-year-old man with iron deficiency anemia and negative upper and lower endoscopy. He has no specific medical history, no abdominal pain, no medication with non-steroidal anti-rheumatics. About 3 hours and 50 minutes after entering the small bowel, the capsule shows a large fibrinous ulcer. Next to the ulcer, there is an ulcerative stenosis that causes asymptomatic capsule retention. The macroscopic appearance of the stenosis and the mucosal alterations are highly suggestive of small bowel Crohn's disease. With subsequent peroral single balloon enteroscopy, the retained capsule was not reached. The region of deepest insertion was marked with a hemoclip. A fluoroscopic small bowel follow-through and a CT scan were performed to localize the stenosis and to obtain some information about its dignity. The radiologic findings show a stenosis in the middle of the ileum in the right lower abdomen at a great distance from the hemoclip. Artifacts caused by the retained capsule prevent further conclusions. At this point a Crohn's stenosis was presumed and it was decided to treat the patient with systemic steroids to widen the stenosis. An X-ray four weeks later, however, still shows the retained capsule. A perianal single balloon enteroscopy was then performed. Here you see the stenosis from the anal side with the retained capsule in the background. After passing the stenosis with the endoscope, the large ulcer can be seen at the oral side of the stenosis behind the retained capsule. This is the typical feature of a Crohn's stenosis. The capsule was then successfully removed with a snare after taking biopsies from the lesions. A balloon dilatation is not necessary at this time. As a result of the steroid therapy, the asymptomatic stenosis has widened enough to allow passage with the endoscope and to remove the capsule to the anal side.